Management options of pelvic organ prolapse include native tissue and mesh repair. Mesh repair has been suspended in some countries, owing to concerns about its complications. However, mesh repair has been shown to reduce the risk of prolapse recurrence. The aim of the present study was to assess the incidence of recurrence of prolapse following mesh versus native tissue repair. This was a prospective observational study of women who presented with stage 3 or 4 prolapse and received primary prolapse surgery. Transperineal ultrasound was performed before the operation to assess the presence of levator anti-muscle avulsion. Prolapse symptoms and staging were assessed at follow-up. The recurrence of prolapse was compared between women with and those without mesh use. A total of 154 Chinese women were recruited. Of these, 104 underwent mesh repair, and 50 had native tissue repair surgery. 95 women had levator avulsion. Both subjective and objective prolapse recurrence rates were significantly lower in the mesh repair group than in the native tissue repair group. A multivariate logistic regression analysis Mesh repair was associated significantly with a reduced risk of both subjective and objective recurrence of prolapse. This was confirmed on a subgroup analysis of women with levator avulsion. The incidence of mesh-related complications was low, and mesh exposure could be treated conservatively or by minor surgery. Mesh repair surgery, compared with native tissue repair, was associated with a significant reduction in the risk of subjective and objective recurrence in women with stage 3 or 4 prolapse. In women with concomitant levator avulsion, mesh repair surgery was associated with a four-fold reduction in prolapse recurrence. The benefit of mesh surgery for these high-risk women appears to outweigh the risks of mesh complications.